Okay, boys. Go! <laughs> hey guys, good morning. Gabe Suarez here. Uh, right to work discussion. Uh, so I was checking my emails this morning over coffee, and uh, you know there there were a lot of questions regarding uh, shotguns. Uh, as as we know, uh, with the uh, the non NFA pistol grip only non shotguns, kind of a stupid name. Everybody knows what the hell they are. Um, but uh, you know the resurgence of the of the twelve gauge uh, as a weapon uh, has kind of come back into the forefront. I think this is fantastic. Uh, for a very long time, America has been very rifle centric, and now now we're taking a very serious look at the shotgun again. Uh, and the shotgun is a very important, very devastating weapon. Um, but look, why do companies like Remington and Mossberg and and all these others? Why do they make these things? One reason and one reason only, they make them to sell them so they can make money. And they could not care less about what's effective and what works best. What they care about is getting the gun public to buy their stuff. And, uh, you know, the, and the gun public, unfortunately, is motivated by what looks cool, uh, what looks exciting, what appears on movies and video games and so on, uh, and, and not really so much about what's going to work in a fight. Okay, these shotguns are made for fighting. And by this, I'm not talking about, uh, you know, the ones that uh, the bird hunters or bunny busters would use. And I'm certainly not talking about the kind of shotguns that the, the three-game people would use. i got nothing against any of those pursuits, but none of them have anything at all to do with shooting your enemies that want to try and kill you, which is, that's my, my field of study. That's what I base my training on and, and everything else. And so... Uh, look, the shotgun in a gunfighting perspective is not a rifle. It's not used in the same realms as a rifle, and it doesn't have the same requirements as a rifle. And so to try and, and take a shotgun and, and have it conform to the requirements of a rifle is very foolish. One of the things that we're seeing is the addition of magazines to the, the shotgun realm. Look, we went over all of this back in the era of the Sega 12. We tried the Sega 12, we, we, we modified it, we ran drills with it, and we worked a great deal with it. And other than it being something cool, uh, it had really no advantage to offer you uh, with relation to how you would use this in a gunfight. Okay. Uh, plus, you know, we had the added complexities of, of parts that were uh, relatively unavailable, uh, and a, a severe lack of magazines, because American-made magazines certainly weren't uh, uh, solving anything for it. Um, so we eventually <clears throat> dropped it as this is cool, but offers no real advantage in a fighting realm. Okay? Um, look, shotguns are for short-duration, high-intensity events that happen suddenly and are over quickly, usually in reduced light, oftentimes with more than one adversary, but certainly not with 20 adversaries, okay? Um, they are used predominantly in urban settings, close-range environments, uh, where the uh, traditional methods of marksmanship, uh, generally, you don't have time to apply those uh, like you would with a single projectile weapon. So, uh, short duration, high intensity, uh, high devastation uh, is desirable, uh, and that's provided by, <clears throat> generally, <clears throat> with a 12 gauge, two fed weapon. Uh, guys will want to buy uh, these, these, uh, these shotguns with magazines because they're cool, but look, here's the thing, if we were to take uh, a, 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 undertake a study of events <clears throat> where shotguns were used in gunfights, not in gun game, not in gun sport, but in gunfights where people were killed and then turned those into shooting drills and ran them with all of these different uh, uh, weapons that are out there in the, uh, in the industry, I suspect that you would arrive at the same conclusions that I have, that a tube-fed, uh, at least five-shot weapon is optimal and that anything that makes the weapon heavier, more clumsy, or more complicated is generally not a good idea. Now look, we can argue whether semi-auto, 
uh, gives you any advantages over, over a pump. It may, depending on the application, that advantage may be very slim. I, for example, am, am holding out to see what this Remington V3 looks like. I think it would make a fantastic stakeout and a fantastic point man and amphibian if, and this is a very big if, it is a reliable weapon. My experience has been that when you uh, you start shortening semi-auto 12 gauge like that, that uh, it generally uh, reduces the reliability. But you know what? I would love to be proven wrong. Okay, so again, look, if you want to go buy a magazine-fed pump-action shotgun and put more money in the pocket of Remington and Mossberg, go ahead. I don't care. But you you won't be gaining any advantage in the real world over a two-fed weapon. That's my opinion this morning. Disagree if you like, but my opinion is based on using shotguns for real in gunfights against people that wanted to kill me, and I'm still here.